Kelly Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to treat psychotic states with diet and supplements. Delusions, disorganized speech, abnormal motor behavior and hallucinations are just some of the symptoms of psychotic disorders like schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, and bipolar disorder. These disorders are severely debilitating conditions with an estimated worldwide prevalence of approximately 4.6 people per 1,000. Antipsychotic medications are usually recommended as the first line of treatment for psychotic states. They reduce hallucinations and delusions and help people think more clearly. But most importantly, these medications may improve long-term prognosis because untreated, uh, psychotic states can result in irreversible structural brain damage. However, medications are not the only line of therapy useful for managing psychotic states, and the side effects of antipsychotic medications may further lead to nutrient deficiencies and other unwanted side effects. So to help uh, support you and your loved ones manage psychotic states, here are some dietary and supplement considerations. The human brain has a very high energy demand and consumes a large, an immense amount of energy relative to the rest of the body. The brain needs a large amount of carbohydrates in order to function effectively. The choice of carbohydrates is critical for brain health. Nutritional deficiencies uh, critical to human health may also result from insufficient intake or insufficient absorption. They are now recognized as a risk factor for psychotic disorders. High intake of nutritionally lacking foods is a predictive of poor mental health as well. Whereas a healthy diet reduces the risk for mental issues, mental health issues. Now, people who uh, experience psychotic states have been found to have ongoing inflammatory processes in their body. They have higher levels of oxidative stress. They have mitochondrial dysfunction and decreased synaptic plasticity and neurogenesis, as well as increased autoimmune diseases, all of which can contribute to the disease progression. Disturbances in energy balance have also been linked to the pathobiology of several mental diseases, and so dietary management, along with supplementation, is becoming an important strategy for treating psychiatric disorders. So which dietary interventions and supplements support the management of psychotic states? Well, number one, you want to reduce the amount of saturated fats you are consuming. Fats are vital components of both neurons and glial cells, both brain cells. And the types of fats that you consume in your diet, whether saturated or unsaturated fats, have been proposed to play a huge role in brain function. A 2019 study showed that relative to controls, patients with first episode psycho psychosis were, who were not taking any medication yet, consumed more saturated fat in their diet and had maladaptive eating patterns. To reduce the amount of saturated fats that you consume, I recommend reducing the consumption of animal products to a maximum of twice a week and reducing processed foods rich in unhealthy fats to a bare minimum. Choose healthy fats instead and go for uh, foods like olives, avocados, uh, coconut, peanuts, cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, pumpkin seeds, tahini, or sesame seed paste. Instead of uh, animal products, be sure also to increase your consumption of any types of legumes to supply a sufficient amount of healthy protein in your diet. Now you also want to consume healthy carbohydrates. In a large study of patients with manic depression or schizophrenia, the rate of diabetes was found to be higher, significantly higher than in the general population. Processed grains and refined sugars are the worst types of carbohydrates for human consumption, uh, and not only due to the fact that they lack nutrients, but also in the way uh, they are grown in, in today in our current times, and, and as well as the way they are processed and the effects that they have on the body. When refined carbohydrates are consumed with saturated fats on a regular basis, which is very common in the modern world, the likelihood of suffering from diabetes increases to up to 95%. On the other hand, healthy carbohydrates are crucial for healthy functioning of the brain and lower the risk of for suffering from mental illness. For maximum effectiveness, I recommend consuming at least three small meals a day that include a small portion of healthy carbohydrates meal 
including whole oats, whole grains in the form of pasta, breads, buckwheat, or couscous, different types of whole grain rice, quinoa, oven baked potatoes, and sweet potatoes, and beets. These are excellent types of carbohydrate rich foods. Also, you want to boost dietary antioxidant levels. Research shows that there is an association between deficits in antioxidant levels and increased psychotic episodes. Oxidative stress leads to gray matter loss and functional and cognitive impairment as well. Now, flavonoids are powerful antioxidants with demonstrated beneficial effects on human vascular function, on psychotic episodes, and on improving memory and learning. Foods richest in phytochemicals, these uh, flavonoids, uh, include grapes, green tea, which is rich in the polyphenol EGCG, uh, also cocoa, found in dark chocolate and wild blueberries. Also higher plasma vitamin C uh, levels in the newly diagnosed schizophrenia patients receiving vitamin supplementations were found to have greater symptomatic improvement over a period of eight weeks. So it is suggested to consume foods rich in vitamin C or to supplement with vitamin C. Supplement. Um, Foods rich in vitamin C include citrus fruits, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, peppers, berries, blackcurrants, and broccoli. Now, to avoid oxidative stress, you should also limit processed food consumption. You should exercise rare, uh, regularly. You should avoid pollutants and, of course, quit smoking. Now, you also want to increase foods and lifestyle habits that increase BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, in high levels of oxidative stress uh, above the cell's buffering capacity brain plasticity and cognitive function are impaired, probably due to a reduction in BDNF uh, activity. Now, BDNF has been a relatively new focus of research for schizophrenia and depression, and low levels of BDNF in the plasma are also associated with impaired glucose metabolism and type 2 diabetes. Now, BDNF is found to be reduced in patients, in the brain of patients uh, with schizophrenia. I recommend watching my video on how to increase BDNF levels naturally, and I will provide a link at the description of this video. Also, you want to consume foods that prevent leptin resistance. Like BDNF, leptin facilitates synaptic plasticity in the hippocampus. You can watch uh, my video on how to prevent uh, leptin resistance also in the description of this video, and I'll supply a link to at the end of this video as well. Also, you want to avoid stimulants. A case study investigated stimulant-induced psychotic psychosis. Uh, the research concluded that people with a history of psychotic episodes should avoid uh, synthetic and natural stimulants. Amphetamines um, and other stimulants inhibit dopamine uptake. In high and excessive doses, these stimulants cause insomnia, regular heartbeats, erratic behavior, and psychotic states as well. Also, natural stimulants like coffee and foods rich in sugar should be avoided. Sugar stimulates the brain, producing addictive-like effects and impaired cognitive function. So reduce uh, uh, refined sugar intake to a minimum. Also, you want to increase essential fats. Polyunsaturated fatty acids are thought to play a large role in supporting optimal brain function. Um, polyunsaturated fatty acids are capable of maintaining optimal function of cholinergic neurons. Uh, a recent study on the benefits of uh, essential fats on psychotic disorders found that omega-3 supplementation effectively reduces the symptoms. Patients with psychotic states whose, um, uh, like a schizophrenia, have been found to have lower level of polyunsaturated fatty acids in their brain frontal cortex. So definitely you want to uh, include the omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. They're very supportive. Um, for patients with mood disorders and should be consumed as a supplement on a daily basis. Now, I definitely recommend a plant-based omega-3 fatty acid um, supplement to prevent any contamination with toxic metals and other pollutants found in almost all fish that are currently available. You may also increase your levels of omega-3 uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids by consuming walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds uh, daily. You can add them to your oats, your soups, sprinkled on salads. Um, and it's very easy to find a way. They don't add um, a uh, taste, but they do add texture, which is good. <laughs> you also want to supplement with the B vitamins. 
blood levels of B vitamins are significantly reduced in people with psychiatric disorders. Folate and B12 are often deficient in schizophrenia and are associated with symptom severity. Also, B, vitamin B supplementation can significantly reduce symptoms of schizophrenia and reverse some neurological def uh, deficits associated with uh, this disorder. This is perhaps due to the neuroprotective properties of the, these nutrients or the ability of the B vitamins to lower homocysteine levels, which adversely affects mental health. Also, vitamin B3 is essential in alleviating psychotic episodes. A study on the uh, relationship between uh, niacin, vitamin B3, and psychiatric manifestations concluded that niacin deficiency is a contributing factor uh, in schizophrenic uh, patients. Therefore, adequate uh, B3 supplements uh, should be taken um, with food to prevent an upset stomach. Now, niacin can be toxic to the liver at high doses and therefore should not be taken with, by people with existing liver issues. It is best to take it in low doses as part of a B-complex supplement, which I recommend taking. Um, also, you want to supplement with vitamin D. Vitamin D is implicated in schizophrenia onset and is associated with worsened physical and mental health outcomes. A few studies examined the correlations between uh, vitamin D and psychi uh, psychiatric symptoms, all of them finding a link uh, uh, between low vitamin D levels and worse mental health state. So, to summarize, research shows that there is an association between symptoms of psychotic disorders and diet and nutrient levels. Therefore, people with mental illness and psychotic episodes should be proactive about choosing foods and supplements that can help them manage psychotic states, which can not only improve immediate functioning, but also long-term prognosis. Any supplement um, treatment should aim to be in low dosage and ongoing on a regular basis to form the habit and then to continue with it. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. And please also visit my website, thegorillodiet.com, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. You deserve it. Thank you very much for joining me.